Welcome. This is lesson 3.2. Uh, we're going to be covering the gem creator. The gem creator uh, is a little bit different than the gem studio. The gem creator allows us to use custom shape curves to create very different types of stones. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of a shape we, we use as long as it has all the straight edges and as long as you know it's all planar. Uh, they are all common, common to one plane. So let's go over to, uh, I'm gonna maximize perspective. And here, as you can see, I have three very different curves. Uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna open the gem creator. And here we go. And I'm gonna start with this one here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom to that. Here we go. Let's put it over here on the side. And I'm going to click select. As you can see now, it begins to form a stone based on the shape of the curve. And I can choose the size of the top. Very easy. I can choose all the parameters, the height, the size of the girdle, the thickness on the girdle, you know. As you can see, everything changes in real time. You're looking at exactly what you're doing and you get your dimensions here. You can go by percentage based on your curve or millimeter sizes. Do you know exactly what it is that you are creating? You know, uh, gem size and you can type, uh, you know, select the type of stone you want to create. Uh, so I'm happy with this right now. I can click OK and we see our stone created right there. And now we can follow up and we can go ahead and click on this one. And we can do more than one at a time. We can select two, three, four, as many curves as you need and create them. Notice that the first one that I already made shows up over here in gems, custom, and it shows the gem. Uh, so now I can go over here. Notice this one is the previously made one. Now when I pick this one, go to gem creator, select. And there is our curve. I want the start on the top to be bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and make it larger over here. And maybe I don't, I don't want it to be this high, so I'm going to reduce the height right around there. Kind of a custom stone. This doesn't really have any parameters. I'm just going uh, by creating a custom stone. I click OK. And notice now we have the first one. Now we have the second one. Uh, and last, I could pick that one over there, and the same thing. Let me zoom to it. Here we go, and do the same thing. Jam Creator, select it. There is our uh, stone. Notice that it's not the same size over here, so I'll go ahead and work with my parameters over here to get that to fit. Okay, there we go, uh, and uh, I can choose bigger over here or smaller doesn't really matter whatever uh, it is you need you know you have your options there and if it's ever remember if it's ever facing the wrong direction like the color sticking up uh, you can go over here to flip and make it uh, change uh, but in this case everything is good we can click OK and now we have very uh, three very different custom stones, uh, which we might be wanting to use for some custom jewelry that we're trying to simulate. Uh, now I can very easily go over to the browser over here and change to the stone colors and you know play around with coloring. Maybe I wanna make this one an emerald, you know, and maybe that one over there could be uh, maybe a sapphire. So as you can see, you know, uh, creativity is up to you. Whatever kind of closed curve uh, you create, uh, you are able to create uh, very interesting custom, custom stones to use in your projects.